Hey guys, my name is Ben Howard, and I'm out here at Slater Hill to check out their nine hole disc golf course and the film battle between the end of a polecat and birdie. Um, I want this video to kind of be intro to the rest of what the rest of the one speed disc series is going to be. Basically, I'm going to take two discs out to a course, I'm going to play around with both of them. Whichever one shoots better, I'm, that one's going to move on. If they're tied, I'll decide which one moves on based off of comfort, other things like that. But it's basically what the rest of the series is going to be. And th this one's just to decide which one kind of gets into that rest of that tournament. Um, but the discs, they're actually very, very similar. Let's see if you can see. Like the parting line, everything's very similar. The uh, only real difference between them is there's the birdie has a little thumb track on it. I also have them in different plastics with the polecat being a star and the birdie being a DX. But only real difference I can tell is the... The DX has a little bit more grip to it than the, than the Star, but I shouldn't affect it too much, but we'll see. All right, we're on hole one, par three, 93 feet. Only thing to really worry about is the OB road long of the basket, which can kind of filter that way because the hill slopes towards it, but I'm just going to try to keep it short. I'm going to go with the, the pole cap first. Just got to be careful about this wind. Okay, that's really, that's good. I thought it might fade out on me. <sighs> I feel really straight. All right. Try to do the same thing with the birdie, just a little more to the right. Oh, I threw it harder. Sit, sit. Oh, thank goodness. I don't think they would have gone down the hill anyway, but that definitely would have been farther away than the polecat. Go. <sighs> All right, we're on hole two, 69 feet. Biggest thing to worry about is the hill slopes towards the OB parking lot off to the right. I really need to finish, have this finish off to the left as best I can. Got some right to left wind, so <sighs> just gonna kind of push it high, kind of ace run it. It's also a perfect way to tell how well you can control the speed with these. If I can give it height and let it drop right behind the basket, or they're too fast for that. Oh, kind of. I need a little more power on that, but that was nice. All right, and then the birdie. Try the same thing. About a little more out to the right. Ooh, almost. It didn't sit quite as well. I didn't put it quite as nose up as the polecat, but both really good shots. Really good flights, I mean. Give myself a little bit of a nasty putt back at it, but I really didn't do a headwind or a tailwind or anything, so it shouldn't be too bad. There. Oh, ugh, came out nose down. Go. Right. All right, on hole three, 132 feet. Basket's straight ahead. Only thing to worry about is the ground slopes towards the OB road behind the basket. So I gotta have this land short and scoot up to it or else I could risk going in the road. So just kind of trying to do the same shot in the last hole. Just a little bit more speed. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go stand still again. Yep, perfect. I can get that little bit more nose up, I can give it some more height and still kind of get let it run the basket a little bit and still have that drop and sit right behind the basket. Right 
we go. All right, we're on hole four, 120 feet. OB road off to the right. I'm gonna try and give these, give this one a little bit more of an ace run than I have been. Got a tailwind, so it's, I'm gonna have to throw it a little higher. If I throw it nose up, it's gonna make the, these just drop. Uh, almost. Came in a little hyzer. If I threw that flat, it might have had a chance. Here comes that tailwind. Oh, this might. Oh, that's got height. Ah. You throw it a little harder. Ah. Dang it. There we go. Whew. I don't know if that was the wind or just me. I feel like Feels like this is just kind of coming out of my hand nose down, so I might just have to kind of correct for that in these next holes. All right, we're on hole five. I'm not sure if the distance on the T sign is actually correct on this one because I think this is a new basket placement, but it, it's probably like 150 feet. You can really either go through this gap ahead of us or go over it. I'm gonna try and go over it and just see if I can actually get the disc there. I don't think the wind's really hurt on this, but T pad's not really designed for this shot very well. But let's see. Oh, oh, there's the understability of it. Okay, it didn't sound like it went in the road, but that's that's gonna be a long shot. <laughs> That same shot again. Yeah. Birdie's got some more stability to it, so it held held up to that shot a lot better. Okay, so the both of them were in bounds. Both about the same distance, honestly, just uh, pole cat went a little farther. I got about a 50 foot look at it and do a headwind. I'm just gonna try and spin this at basket and see if I can get it to hold. Say hi. Ooh, almost. All right. Now, same thing for the birdie. A little closer though. Oh, I pulled it. That's it. Ugh. There we go. All right, on hole six, 72 feet, just right there behind this bushes, right next to this tree. I'm just gonna kind of throw this high and a little bit of anhyzer, get some left to right movement. Try and ace it. Oh, kick off the tree. Okay, that's fine. Need a little wider. Oh, that's too wide. All right, well, hole seven, 117 feet. Basically the same hole as hole three, just OB road behind the basket, so try and land this short. Let's see. I'm just gonna go stand still. Smooth, nose up. Oh, give that a lot more height, but I think, might have rolled in that bush, but it's not in the road. That's fine. Oh, 
Oh, I threw that so much harder. Sit. Okay, well, looks like they're on top of each other. <laughs> Damn. All right. Let's get a good putt with this. There we go. Let's get them pulled out. Oh, uh oh, sit, sit. Man, okay, weird. I had a little bit of headwind on that putt. And I'm sorry about that, camera fell over. Missed that putt, missed my comeback putt. Got a nice three foot putt for a bogey. Sorry about that, I didn't realize the piece of my mic that connects to my phone fell out, but looks like we're all, we're working now, so. All right, hole eight, 96 feet. I uh, believe the only thing is parking lot long, but got it kind of a backstop, so it shouldn't really come into play. Right. <sighs> it's our last chance at an ace, so that really meant. Come on. Oh, almost. Had the right height and everything, just <sighs> need to throw straight at the basket. Feels like every hole we've had a headwind out here. Mm. Right on top of each other. Okay. All right, we're on hole nine, final hole of the video. All tied up. Basket's 138 feet away. Somehow still have headwind, even though we've had headwind on like every hole. <sighs> Biggest thing to worry about is this tree on the right. Just don't want to get caught up in it because it's about 10 to 15 feet short of the basket. <sighs> I'm just going to try and... I don't really want to try and turn this over, but I'm going to try and just scoot by the right side, the left side of that tree. I'm about even with the tree, so that's got that's got a really good putt at it. Same thing with the bull cat. Uh, okay. Gave it a little too much height and it kind of faded out on me, but we'll see. Okay, so apparently I was mistaken. That tree is like five feet in front of the basket, so that one's parked. There we go. All right, for the birdie. Stay tied. There we go. All right, guys, I finished the round out here at Slater Hill. Uh, with it being tied, I think I got to give it to the, the pole cat. Because, I mean, if I didn't three putt on that one hole, I would have it would have won by two strokes. So I think, and like, it's just better plastic, better pretty much in every other way. One thing I will say about the birdie is it is a little bit more overstable, even in this disc and star plastic. So. If you're looking for a DX uh, substitute for a polecat that's a little more stable, I would try this out if you've never tried them. But so yeah, I'm a and for this disc, it's really straight, but got that little bit of understability to it, so it's very controllable. Uh, I'm trying to think where I want to put this. I think I'm gonna put it just above the hydrogen because I feel like I can get that straight flight at any speed. A little more controllable, just, just, uh, yeah, just more controllable is really all I can think of to say about this disc and the hydrogen. But so that's this is the list coming in the next video. Uh, I'm not. I'll put on the screen what the next one will be. I'm just gonna do one versus six. 
uh, two verse four, three verse, or two verse five, three verse four for the next videos. Um, but yeah, if y'all got any more courses like this that I should try out, or if you think I should revisit some of them to do these videos, let me know. Um, if you think I should try something different for the playoff, like instead of me picking, we do a CTP or just playoff till we figure something out. But if you have any other ideas, let me know. Um, oh, but the course. If you've never played this one, this is a fun one. Like the longest hole is like what? That, that one hole where you got to throw over the trees or throw through the trees. It's so like definitely a fun one if you've got probably less than 30 minutes. Honestly, you got you could play this in like 20 minutes almost if you played fast. Because I mean, I probably played that in 30 minutes. And I'm throwing two shots on every tee and making a video. So you can definitely zoom through this course if you got time and want to practice your upshots. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. Uh, let me know if you got any recommendations for anything else. And thank you for watching. Bye.